So here we have a password is strength meter and as I make my password is strong, the strength is automatically increasing. If I write here 1, 2, 3, then it is increasing. Now we need a uppercase letter and we have to complete those 8 letters now. And now we have generated a strong password. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 35th video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are into our JavaScript file and here the main logic lies inside this calculate password strength function. And here we are accepting this password as the parameter. So initially the strength is 0 and if the length of the password is 0, then this strength will be written quickly. And here this line says that each character is worth two points and the cap is set to maximum 20 points and here is the core of that password strength meter and here we have written these regular expressions and based on the different sets of the characters we are increasing the strength so here we have the lowercase letters then uppercase then numbers and here we are giving the extra 10 points for the special characters and this section covers the bonus for mixing different types of characters and then here we are adding some of the penalties for the sequential characters so if we have the sequential numbers like 0 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 like that then it will issue some penalties and its strength will be decreased by 10 and same here we have for the alphabets as well and then here we have the penalty for the repeated characters and then in the return we are utilizing here clamping and constraining that forces a value to stay within a specific range so here minimum range is 0 and the maximum is 100 so this is how we are generating those number for the password strength meter okay so this was the whole overview of the code in case you need this code then github repository link is presented at the description of this video now before we take a look on our ui there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like and here we have the ui